What's going on guys, this is Kazi. Welcome to another epic video in a two minute Tuesday series. Obviously it's inspired by Peter McKinnon. He does two minute Tuesdays. And I thought, you know what? It would be cool instead of like doing a full tutorial, showing you tons of things, sometimes stuff gets lost in translation. So how about if we just kind of hone in? So the first one is going to be a performance optimization hack. But before we do that, if you casually color grade your projects, but want to learn more about nodes and how to build a proper node tree, you came to the right place. In this free training, you're not only going to learn everything about nodes, you will also learn to build the perfect node tree, regardless of the project that you're working on. I will end the session with an extended Q&A. These questions came from you guys. Click the link in the description to sign up for this free training. And if you're enjoying the content, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Follow me on Instagram. Let's roll the intro. All right, so I have a timeline filled with a bunch of different cameras. So this is shot on Alexa Mini in ProRes 444XQ. This one is shot on Red Dragon in 5K. This one is shot with Sony Venice again in 444XQ. And this one is shot on Canon C200 in Canon Raw Light. Since this is not necessarily a color grading tutorial, so I'm just going to skip through and do a quick time lapse of building out some looks, throwing on some OFX, noise reduction, until we're ready to put the optimization hack to work. All right, so the screen might look different. I just switched over to my MacBook Pro M1. That's just to give you more of a real world scenario because my Mac Pro is souped up, can pretty much play anything, so it doesn't even matter. But let's go under our settings and uh, make sure that our timeline resolution is still set to 4K. Color management is still set to DaVinci White Gamut. Now, if I go to my color page and hit play, we can see that it is choking pretty hard, playing back at two frames, on the other hand, when we were on my Mac Pro, it was playing back in real time. So what can we do to fix that? Um, let's check it out. First thing that you wanna do is, remember in our pre and post clips, we had some OFX and noise reduction happening. So if I click on this guy, we have our noise reduction. Go ahead, turn that off, because that is always a good practice to keep these off until the end and then turn them on right before you were ready to export. So let's hit playback again and see what's happening now. So we easily went from one to two frames to 10 frames. So this is a massive jump. This is a 5X jump. So that's one way to fix that. And then the next one is going to be the actual hack to get ridiculous performance boost. So go under master settings, click on your timeline, set it to 1080p. And now if I hit play, boom, it's playing back in real time. That did not change my source clip information, okay? If I click right here, click on metadata, you still see that this is a 444XQ clip. It is Ari Alexa Mini. Uh, that did not change. Same thing goes with this. Same thing goes with this, our 3D files. And that is totally applicable. Even if you're grading, you can grade in 1080p timeline. I've done that on unlimited amount of projects. Uh, I'm talking about professional work. So that is the way you approach it. Now let's look at other clips and see what's going on. So I'm gonna get to the red clip at the end, but this is our Sony Venice 4K footage playing back totally fine. This is our RAW from Canon RAW Lite. Even that is almost playing back fine. It's going up to 22 frames and uh, let's go under RAW settings and uh, let's drop the quality to half res here and now do a playback. And now we're, st we're still at, if we do quarter res, it should play back fine. So now we're getting, but I mean, it's not looking that good, right? I mean, it's looking pretty bad. So in that case, you probably wanna leave it at uh, project settings and just hit a playback. And right now it's showing me that it is playing back in uh, real time. So that's kind of unreal, right? So, I mean, it's playing back in real time, 4K footage from Canon C200 in RAW. And now if I go back to, my red clip, see if this plays back in real time. So this one does not play back in real time. It's playing back at around 22, 23. It's almost playing back in real time, but struggling just a little bit. 
And if you want to get that done right, then you can just turn on quarter rest since this was shot in 5K. Look at this. It looks really, really good, holds up, and now is playing back in 24 frames without any problems. So guys, this is a quick hack for you to get the best performance out of your machine. And this way, you can just keep going, make changes, whatever you want to do other than optimizing your media or rendering cache, which both of those ways have their limitations and they take so much time. Hopefully, this was helpful. That is going to do it for this quick video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this short video. If you have any content suggestions, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to watch the free training to master DaVinci Resolve Note 3. Link is down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.